think what is correct. Okay. Let me be recording in the right direction this time. Yes. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see because I cannot. So I am just going by what's on the screen. Okay. All right, take like three, I think. <clears throat> okay, so I'm testing the new tripod or it's I guess um what is the actual name of this thing it's it's not a tripod because it's connected to my desk but indie boyfriend ordered it You like the new angle? Okay, cool. Because I, I'm i scared to touch it still, though, because if I touch it, it kind of shakes a little bit, see? But if I don't touch it, I'm okay. I was streaming on StreamYard, but I couldn't figure out how to zoom in. And it seems like it only had, like, two angles. So it was, like, the really far out angle. So it was like this. And I was like, no one's going to be able to see what I'm coloring. And then it was like a really close up one like this. And I was like, that might be too close. So I was like, I'm just going to try and hope that um, YouTube is working because I couldn't stream on YouTube. It wouldn't let me stream for whatever reason. So seems to be working for now. Hopefully it stays that way. And I'm just going to work on the little alien person. Hi, Emily. How's everyone? I am going to apologize in advance if I'm not talking a lot. I have a headache and I have not been able to get rid of it. It's not as bad as it was this morning, but it's still there. So if I get quiet, space out, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> So is everybody working on anything good? How are your coloring pages coming along? I do hope that that is the air conditioner that just came on and not the heater. Because while it may be slightly cold outside, it is not in the house. So I hope that's the air conditioner. And it could just be me that's hot because I've got this headache. But um, I know he had the chills earlier because he's still sick. So I know he had the chills earlier and he had the heater on. So 
I hope he's not frying me alive in here. In that, um, ow. In that the air conditioner. All of the miniature books. Wow, that's a lot of books. I know there's a lot of those. Um, I only have one. I think I have the, um, I want to say Safari. There's some, some Safari animals in there, so probably the safari one is the one i have i think but she has a lot of books she has some like mandala books too and some other stuff yeah i just wish they were on better paper that that amazon paper is just breaking my nerves and is it me or does it feel like it's getting thinner or I mean not necessarily thinner but like the quality is like even worse or is it just me it might just be me I'm trying to make sure I got all the parts that I want glowing covered because there's like random stuff in the water little parts of the ruins and stuff so I just want to make sure I'm gonna write this combo down anyway because I liked it but um I'm also looking for that little paper that I had I was writing combos on I'll just grab a post-it note I guess uh oh knocking the light over and everything in between Let's see, can you guys, is it better that way? Maybe? It's no shadow. Okay. Just checking. I'm also trying to figure out the light now because the tripod is like up higher. Let me just write these colors down because I don't think I wrote them down. Thank you. I literally, I took it to work with me yesterday and I did this thing here, this little thing on the side, this, 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 and this. And that's about as far as I was able to get because my headache kind of started last night. And I felt it coming on and I was like, oh, I'll just go home and, um, you know, take some medicine, whatever. I'll be fine. But... Um, not really the case. It seemed like I woke up this morning and it was worse. And then, to top it all off, my pr pressure was up, like, kind of high. So, I had to stay home today and I was just like, alright, I'll just stay home and get some coloring done and just relax, let the medicine work, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. So, this is as far as I've got. So, I was like, I'll just turn the camera on and color with you guys, you know. Sorry, I'm just writing the colors down. I don't know how the heck. Okay. There. Whoa, I almost dropped it. Okay. So that's that. So I also pulled out some, um, some Holbein's for like the, I want the ruins to be like a dark brownish gray ish color and i haven't quite figured out the colors that i want to be like from you know i haven't picked the pencils but i grabbed some holbein's for like because some of them are moss color covered so i grabbed some holbein's for that and i'm just um putting my pencils away anyway yeah i don't know this headache was like whew. and sometimes like it'll I'll be able to catch it pretty early and take my medicine and I'll be fine. But 
this time. I didn't catch it early enough. Well, I did, but I didn't have my medicine. It was at, it's at home. I don't bring it to work with me. So, anyway. So, we have some... Like, some of this stuff is covered in moss. And then some of it is covered in these weird... Whatever this is. So... I'm just gonna base the parts I think is moss and this uh, mustard. Kind of this seems to be moss. And I'm just doing it very lightly because I don't know. Not sure what's moss and what's not. Hi, Kim. Just kind of figuring out what's what in this picture. I definitely think all of this is moss. So that one's covered. Um, it's probably me. I got a new thing for my camera and it's connected to my desk so you're kind of above me a little bit but also my head kind of hurts so I probably sound kind of crappy too so it's probably both <laughs> but definitely not you it's probably just me I don't want to call it a tripod because it's not a tripod um I don't know, desk clamp? <laughs> I guess we can call it a desk clamp. I mean, it's clamped to the desk, right? So, and I don't know what I did with the box to be able to tell you, oh, here it is. Um, oh, I guess they call it a, a desk mount webcam stand. So there was like two options that um, I was trying to choose from. So I went, um, hi Katrina, so I went with the cheaper one because he told me to just send him whichever one I wanted. So I went with the cheaper one and if this doesn't work out, I'm going to return it and I'm going to get the other one. Um, but they looked the same, one was just a little cheaper than the other. So I don't know, I'm just testing it out, but I... Was I gonna say? Um, I'm also thinking about ordering a, like a um. Like a holder for my iPad, so I can record from that. But I'm worried that it might be too heavy. For this thing, even though it says I can use it, my iPad on it, I'm worried it might be too heavy. So we'll see. It took me an hour just to get you know, it's set up to where I want it because I didn't know what I was doing. So that was fun. So I'm trying to, right now, I'm just trying to see what's moss and what's not. I hope I say hi to everybody. If I missed anyone, hi. So I think he's also, I don't know what color I want him. I was thinking like a green and yellow, but I feel like that might be a little bit too close to the moss color. I don't know. I'll get to it at some point. I'm just picking out the stuff that I just know what colors I kind of want it to be so that's what I'm doing now but I thought it was like more things covered in moss so like I feel like whatever this is it could be moss so I'm gonna that's gonna be moss too and like this little thing is covered in moss I see it now kind of like there and like right here this 
And it's hard to tell. Like some of this stuff is blending in. Thanks, Kim. There's all kinds of stuff going on. There's like plants and flowers and whatever these things are. And this, I don't know what these are, but they're kind of scattered around too. This, this thing that I have this light on is also bugging me because I can't lay my book flat. But I think there's moss back there. Actually, I think that's moss too. And this. And if it's not moss, guess what? It's going to be because it made it kind of hard to tell. I'm just going to turn this. Sorry if that irritates anybody, but I'm going to turn it because I need to get into here. Because this is moss. Hi, view. I'm testing my camera thing. This clamp. What did we just say it was called? My goodness. Dust mount stand or something. I don't know. Um, also trying to figure out what's covered in moss. This might be. I think this, this goes all the way down here. Yes. I, you guys all fell off ship yesterday. Was that yesterday? <clears throat> or the day before? I think it was the day before. Because I was at work yesterday. Yeah, you guys all... Fell off the boat while I was live streaming. And then it was it's held together with rubber bands and just a hot mess. But that one's, uh, I'm going to keep that one as my backup one. But hopefully I won't need it. Because it was a sad day when you guys just, all the whole thing just tipped over. I was like, oh my goodness. Took the phone with it. Like, oh my <laughs> yeah, I I would imagine a couple people um, you know, flipped right off the side of the ship, hit their head on the way down and everything. <laughs> I those look, those 150 views probably came along when that camera fell over cuz everybody was laughing at that when I was like, "Oh, my goodness." Cuz I was like already almost halfway across the room and I had to run back and like catch you guys and I was like oh my god don't fall yeah the horror of that one that's probably where those views came from <laughs> it was fun though oh while I have you here is there a way to like zoom in when we're streaming from StreamYard or do I just have to like pick between those camera options that they give us? Because I was like trying to zoom in and I couldn't. And I don't know if I was doing something wrong. So I just switched to regular YouTube because it was like from the camera choices, it was like either really zoomed out or really zoomed in. And I was like, you know what? I have a headache and I didn't want to figure it out. So I just went to YouTube, like regular YouTube streaming. I'm sure I was missing something, though. It was probably me. But. I don't know. This looks like moss. I really thought um it was going to be more moss covered than this. So I think I can probably do the ruins like a dark brownish gray but also add some green in there 
on my own somewhere. Oh, it doesn't have, okay, so I wasn't going crazy. Yeah, um, I I have this thing, I have to look. It took me an hour to set up the camera the way it is now. And it was a lot of like rotating and extending and flipping and, you know, so. So I can do it from YouTube. Um, but I couldn't do it from Streamlab. Like I can zoom in and out now. But when I was trying to do it from, yeah, it was crazy. So, it's okay. Uh, I think, because I had a, a really zoomed in version, which was really cool. But then, like, when I was coloring, like, you can see my hand. And it was, like, this close. And I was like, no one wants to see that. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I am... Straining my eyeballs looking for moss covered things. <laughs> I think that's okay for now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, like, they'll be able to see. I mean, my hands aren't dry today, luckily, but. You know, there'll be sometimes I don't feel like putting on lotion before every YouTube video and all that. Like, no, but no one wants to see it, whether it's lotion or not. I feel like, it, like they they are here for the coloring and my nonsensical rambling. They don't want to see my giant hand in the camera. I'm sure. I mean, it's not giant, but it is when it's super close. You know. So. Anyway, uh. I'm just throwing down color anywhere at this point because it's moss and, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. That too, because some of these pages, like if you put on lotion, it leaves weird little spots and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like. And I have eczema. Um, it, it may not look like it, but it flares up when it wants to. And even still, I don't, especially when I'm coloring, like, you know, because I don't want those weird, um, hi, Jana. I don't want those weird spots all over my pages, especially if I'm already working on a page and then I put on lotion and I rest my hand on my book. So imagine like a big grease lotion spot. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't like it. <laughs> With soft looking skin. Yeah, when it wants to be. When it wants to be. Trust me, it's got its good days. And then especially, like, if I've been playing in paint and God knows what, imagine that being all over my hands and then my hands is all in the camera. They're going to be like, oh, wash your hands, you know. Especially with people who don't know, like, you know. Like, we get dirty. We get our hands dirty. We get paint. And I know when I get, like, when I paint, it, it be all over the place. And don't even get me started on the glitter, so. <laughs> yep exactly so I'm just throwing some I think I mean I have two other colors here but it might be uh yeah it is it is some of these like these ones are really tiny and like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit the other two colors on this one so I might just Should have went with something um, a little, huh? 
harder than the uh, Holbein's, but I'll work with it. It's fine. That ashy game is real, yes. <laughs> like, it's like, especially if you don't feel like doing anything about it, it can get rough, but that's okay. It is what it is. I don't worry about it. Until my eczema kicks in and then I'm like, get your butt up and put that lotion on like you're supposed to. And then I have to use like certain lotions too. So. I can't be putting on all the fancy smell good lotions because that'll wake up my eczema real quick. Every now and then, or like I can mix it with, yeah, exactly. Like I can mix it with a little bit of like, you know, maybe a dash of body works. And I mean like a tiny bit and mix it in with my regular non-smelling like absolutely nothing lotion but yeah exactly no smell just rich just straight whatever supposed to be in there type lotion no smell maybe like i don't know why i have this this green thing on top of here maybe some um might get lucky with some lavender scent but that doesn't seem to last very long, so. Which is fine. I mean, as long as the lotion works, I don't care what it smells like. Well, no, let me take that back. Because my boyfriend, he has this lotion. He doesn't, I don't think he uses it anymore. But it's like really good. But it smells like soy sauce and like something else. And... I laugh at it because I call it the soy sauce lotion. <laughs> and it just, he doesn't use it anymore because the smell is just, it's too, it's too much. It's hard to, oh, you guys can't even, and tell me when you guys cannot see what I'm doing because um, the camera is taller than I am, so... It's going to be a little hard to see if you can see or not. I probably shouldn't have put it up so high, but it was either that or clamp it down low. And then when I had it on the side, like um, on like the actual desk part, I couldn't figure out the like the direction of the things with the angles and you got to move them and twist them. I couldn't figure it out, so I clamped it up, and then I was able to figure it out that way, and, yeah. I'm telling you guys, an hour. <laughs> an hour I was trying to figure it out, and this is the best I got, so. And I'm just gonna, I need to move this, hold on. Without knocking stuff over. Okay. Uh, uh, that didn't help. I, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to lay my book flat and, but without ca casting a shadow. So I have like my light and it's on this dollar store basket I got. And I'm trying to move it so I can kind of lay my book flat a little bit. Whatever, that's close enough. Because there's like stuff on the side, but I guess I'll get to that later. Oh, this hall right here might be moss. Yeah, View, you move, you're moving like really fast on your page. And I'm over here just barely did anything on mine. Yours is looking really good. I almost started doing that page too. And I was like, you know what? Let me start with something simple because I um I need a single page to start with first. But your page looks cool. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I tried that too. Not having any new whips. And then this book came around and I was like, well, I got to start a page in here because, you know, you just have to. It's new. I knew better, but I'm, I had to. <laughs> yeah, I like that page. It's just, I didn't, I was like, I'm going to do, um, hear me thinking that this one was simpler in a way but probably not this one's probably i probably could have started off with that one but it just seemed like a lot going on and i feel like it's even more going on in this one but it's a single page so i'm not even going to try to get in there but um it's a single page so i thought i was better off doing this one but i noticed that the details in this one are like smaller Yeah, I got whips all over the place. Hi, Callie. And so I just, like, I did a video um, a while back, and I counted, like, all my whips, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work on them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I worked on some of them, but mm-mm. Not enough for me to make another video and be like, hey, I worked on my whips. Nope. If anything, I, I am back where I started, and if not with more, so. I mean, it's okay. I feel like you just, you know, you get to it when you get to it. And also, like, if you don't want to work on that page, don't. Because it might come out looking a hot mess if you try to force yourself to finish it and your heart's not in it. So, I say do it when you want to and that be that. You're trying to get better, better at finishing them? Yeah, me too at one point. But not really, not anymore. If they get done, they get done. All right, I'm going to try to not spin you guys so many times if I can help it. So what's everyone's thoughts on this book? Your honest thoughts. Yep, no expiration date. Exactly. They are not going anywhere. Like, and all mine are, are tagged, too. So, it's like, I know they're there. When I'm ready to work on one, uh, it'll be there. Nice and tagged and ready. You say you like it, but it, it should have been better. So, like, what do you feel like it, it was missing? Do you? Callie doesn't like doing aliens. Okay. Yeah, I noticed a lot of people are not a fan of, like, aliens and stuff. Yep, I have mine tagged. They all, they're all tagged with, um, I call it the tag of shame because it says whip on them. <laughs> so mine are all nice and tagged and big for me to see Kim doesn't like it okay so what do you guys feel like it it's missing or that it should have been better on <laughs> yep, the tag of shame. Absolutely. Because when I go through my books, they're just sitting at the top and they're all just looking at me like, are you going to finish me at some point? So I call them the tags of shame. Too, too many filler pages in open spaces. Okay, so let, let's talk about this here for a second. 
what do you guys what what are you guys considering the filler pages because there were pages in here where i was just like i mean don't get me wrong i love kirby i'm gonna buy his books regardless but there were some pages in here where i was like dude like um i feel like maybe he was not necessarily running out of ideas but um like where is that page where because, I mean, for the most part, I like most of the pages. But there were some where I was just like, bro, you could have... Not you could have done better, but you could have just gave us something else. Like, but, um... Like, I didn't really like whatever this thing is. But, I mean, the art itself is cool. But... Where is that page? And it's always, it's, I feel like it's a page like that in all of his books. Well, the the recent ones anyway. Like, this page is kind of weird. Um, it's one of my least favorites in the book. But it's not bad. It's just weird and, I don't know, some of these creatures kind of weird me out. But like, okay, like this page. Um... I don't want to say it could have been better because I don't know exactly what's even going on here. But, you know, okay. Yeah, I'm scared for the astronaut too. They, they, he put that poor man through this, this. I don't like this page. Like, I, I don't necessarily, like some of the pages, like where he does these, these weird, um, I guess creatures but he did it in in one of his other books too and it just looked like he kind of threw the fur and the, uh, it was just I don't know I don't like this page I can't even explain what I'll just have to show you in the other book but other than that like I like it um but some of them pages he could have gave us something else I'm not gonna say he could have did better he could have just gave us something else Especially this one. That's definitely my least favorite. This one's kind of strange. Like, I'm definitely not going to color this. Because I don't even... And I get, you know, everything in, on this planet is supposed to be frozen or whatever. But it's the creatures for me. They're kind of strange. Like, this page, it would have been good if he would have did without the creatures. And then add it more like frozen like buildings or something like that. Because I get it's like deep crevices or whatever. But we could have went without the creatures. Especially this one. This one's kind of funny looking. But um, the page itself minus the creatures would have been great. <laughs> Walking popsicles. <laughs> yeah. The one. It, yeah. And he doesn't have arms. Like he's just walking. And I mean, this guy's got like six of them, so he could have gave him two, or at least one. Could have gave him one arm. I don't know, but it it's weird. Um, I like most of the planet pages are cool. I like the planet pages. Now I won't color all of them, but they are cool to look at. Uh, but I I feel like um for me I'm gonna have to come up with like a whole backstory like i did on this one i'm like this guy is running through lava and everything what's up with his suit we had a whole conversation um one of our live streams but i do like the way he has it set up though like how he has this one's kind of weird too and i didn't know it was a double page i thought it was just some weird like thing by itself but this is actually a double page so it's not too bad i guess but like Oh, yeah, he's running for his life in that page. What, what? Did I call him an alien? I'm an astronaut. I didn't mean to call the guy an alien. But he's running for his life in one of those pages. But, like, his setup. So, like, the way he has, like, you know, the guys flying to the planet or whatever. And then he has, like, the environment of the planet I mean, there's obviously still creatures, but, you know, the whole environment. And then he's got, like, pages with the creatures of the planet. 
which is cool. This one's weird, but you know, I, it's cool. And then he has like, I think some of them has like the leader of the planet and then, you know, like just different things or whatever after that. But the setup is pretty nice. Any page with that circular moving hole. What circular moving hole? Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> Are you talking about like the one on the water planet? Like this one? Or you mean like this, this weirdness? That's a lot of water. This one. Yeah, I feel like he had a page like this um, or similar to this in one of his other books. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I don't know. But I like how, like, he keeps the creatures and stuff, like, the same. Like, this is the same as this. I mean, I think he did okay with this one. It's not, it's not my favorite. I think my favorite is still either, um... It's definitely Mythic World and Mythomorphia. Those are my favorites, but I also like Fragile World too. But this one's, I don't think it's bad, um, but he could have gave us some of those pages. He could have gave us something better. And I must be drastically slow at coloring because a lot of people have like pages that are already done and they look amazing. It, yeah, some people, they are. They're doing really, really good work. And I'm like, am I moving that slow? Am I that slow of a colorist? Is what I keep asking myself. Because some people are like done with multiple pages. And I'm like, my goodness. I do not move that fast. I don't. I do not. Um, I was thinking of this one. Um, but I also know I wanted to do this page, but I feel like because I'm so slow at coloring, I have, I feel like I have to pick a page that I'm going to at least almost finish. Um, so I actually don't know. This one looks kind of cool. I think they're from the, um, the floating planet with the gas. So this one I was thinking... Yeah, like, I'm, it, it doesn't make any sense how slow of a colorist I am. Like, if you guys ever see any of my color along, they're usually in so many parts. And that's because I, like, plan out the colors and everything. But if I actually sit and take the time and think, and yeah. Um, so I was thinking that page. This page looks fun, too. I also don't want to pick a page that's going to creep anybody out either so i haven't quite picked what i'm gonna do i don't think i want to do a planet page because i feel like that might be a little boring now this one might be funny just because of the fact that he's running through this lava um and we had like a little funny uh commentary about this poor guy but I'm not sure. I might have to flip through it another hundred times for me to figure out. Mm. Oh, and also this page. I feel like this page could have been, like he could have, the page is awesome. But this creature, I feel like it could have been something more majestic or whatever. Because they're, they're on that crystal planet, I think, here. Or the frozen one. But that guy could have been drawn better. But um, me talking about something could have been drawn better. And I could never draw like, you know what I'm saying, like Kirby in a million years. But um, yeah, I might be brave enough to do this page. The, this is the page View is doing now. The more I look at some of these pages... <laughs> 25 pages colored oh no see and I I haven't even look I did my tester page hoping you guys can see this and it's not even finished and then this this is as far as I've gotten since I've gotten this book 
telling view, I was like, man, you're moving fast. Like, I feel like I might need a lesson in coloring a little bit faster. I don't know. Or maybe I just like um, pay attention to too much detail. That could be it too. Because even though like this is really small, I'm still trying to squeeze in all four of these colors. Knowing good and well, I probably won't be able to, but me trying to do it anyway. I won't change. It's just kind of annoying. Not annoying, but it's kind of like, dang, everybody's pages look so awesome and I'm not even anywhere near done with mine. <laughs> And I seen that I seen the one you're doing in graphic tint. Now I don't have the graphic tint, but those colors you picked are really good. I was like, that's pretty neat. And then I'm like also working on my um like stones. Yeah. I'm also working on my um what do you call that thing? Jeez, not swatch chart. <sighs> Kelly, because I feel like I color too slow. Like, I don't, like I put too much thought into it or something. And you're not, I feel like you're not really supposed to. Like you're just supposed to chill and color. But sometimes I be stressing myself out trying to find colors and stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm probably just talking. You guys are probably like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I just wish I was a little faster, but I don't know. Maybe it just feels like I color too slow. Maybe I really don't, and it just feels like it. Move down. Okay. How's that? You still can't see what I'm coloring. What is going on? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, this, um, and my chair is high as it can go, but if I move the, if I move it down a little bit, hang on, let me see. You guys might shake for a little bit because there's lots of knobs and whistles here, but if I can, whoa, okay. This is why Jazz doesn't touch stuff because I'm trying to make it to where I can see, but I can't see it. It's, it's too high up. It's not a race. Yeah, I know, but I guess, you know what? It might just be like, I just kind of want to hurry up and see my page done so I can be like, yay, I did a page, you know? I don't know. I told you guys I'm weird. Don't mind me. I might add a darker green to that, but I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Well, no, because I think the, the building I want dark, so I might leave it like this for now. You could finish, what, this in four hours? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I will tell you that I most certainly cannot finish this in four hours. I am on day, what, two? It took me two days to figure out what page I wanted to do. So, am I still up somewhere? I don't even know. Where, what am I coloring? This. Okay, you guys can see it. All right, cool. Oh, read up. Okay. Oh, I'm so slow. Okay, 87. What page is that? That's like two pages away from mine, right? Oh, oh, that's a lot of green and, well, not green, but like floral stuff. So you're doing this page. Creepy. That's kind of cool, though. That'll be fun. Yeah, that'll definitely be fun to watch. I don't know. Like, I like this planet. Um, This is actually one of my... The, might be my favorite one in the book, actually. This one, this planet. I think it's like the Desolate Ruins, right? I think that's the name of it. Egghead. <laughs> 
I was thinking um, when I seen that page, I was like, he kind of looks like Robotnik from Sonic. Oh, Potato Head. <laughs> I'm sure you all know who Sonic is, right? I'm not just talking here. Some of us play these games, right? The Predator, yeah. I'm sure he drew his inspiration from, from you know, some of those things. Because, well, maybe not Mr. Potato Head. But I'm sure he uh got inspiration from a lot of those alien movies and stuff except for that thing without the arms i don't know where he got that one from but you know when people draw you know no telling where they because my when i draw i don't know my ideas come from all kinds of weird places so i can imagine but you guys tell me if this um this view and angle and lighting and everything is okay because can't really see you if I stretch my neck really high I can I can see like a little bit but not enough to be able to actively and I don't want to also just turn the light away from you guys either so just just trying some stuff okay nope I'm gonna stop touching things because that is how I broke the last one so I'm gonna leave it alone just let me know if you guys can see I'll be having the new one taped up with rubber bands and duct tape before it's even, um, you know, a good week old. It's only like, what, a day old? So let's not touch it. And anyway, if it breaks a day old, then that's probably cause for return too, because why are you breaking so easily? You can see good. Okay, cool. So I was thinking gray originally, but I think I'm gonna go with the brown, the dark brown. It's, I don't, I'm trying to, you guys know what like jungle ruins look like? That's kind of what I'm going for as far as like the color. But I haven't been able to, like the color's in my head, so I just have to match my pencils with it. I know what I want it to look like, I just have to Make it make sense on paper. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was going for. Um, with these. don't know what that sound was outside but I hope it was something like a skateboard or a firecracker and not anything else So for those who, I mean, most of you seem like you didn't really like the book at all, but for those that do like it and do have it, what um, are you finding works best for you in the book, like materials wise? <laughs> prismas and ink tanks i am scared to put water in here okay how does the water work like did it work for you how much water did you put because i am terrified i want to test it but
You, ha you haven't tried anything yet. Well, I was using, I, well, I was going to use um, this page as a test page, the table of contents, because it's got like a bunch of little stuff, like just kind of randomly scattered about. But I went with this one as my test page. But I mean, either one of them is really good to, because I didn't want to just dive in on a page with something and then it don't work because I would have been angry. So... You use intense on all his book water just yeah i use water in fragile world and mythic world and the paper in here seems the same as mythic world but i think it might actually be a little bit smoother um because in mythic world for some reason i didn't really like how the whole lines work but I'm able to use them in this one just fine. So I don't know if it's a mind thing or if some if the paper changed a little bit. I don't know. It's the same publisher, I think. But you know, they change papers sometimes. So I don't know. The acrylic paint. Oh, you just super diving in. Now, I might try, um, well, I'm going to have to try some of those, my water-based markers, because some of, like, these little, tiny, just randomly placed, like, some of this stuff is probably too small. Like, I can probably get my polys in there, but as far as, like, trying to, I picked up the wrong color pencil, trying to, like, um, get a whole bunch of shading and stuff going on it's probably not going to happen with some of this stuff knowing me i'm going to probably try anyway but um no promises yeah i like i like the paper i mean it's it's definitely better than amazon paper so I am just scared to put water in this one because I haven't tried it yet. So I don't want to put it on this page until I try it. So I'm glad you tried it first and, and the water works because now I can... I have to practice more with my ink tints too. Um, I am I hearing correctly? Ink tints has a hundred colors now. Did I? I swear I thought I seen a video like that this morning, but I was also half asleep, and I fell asleep in the middle of it. So, um, ink tints more colors because I only have um whatever they had when it first came out seventy two. Somebody wants to confirm that. Not that I need to be going to go run and buy them because I don't use my intents like I should. Three, 300. Look, don't run my pressure up higher than what it is, okay? Now, $300. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Can you buy them individually? No, ma'am. I'm not spending. What? You even broke my concentration now. Wait a minute. 300 for the new colors or 300 for the whole 100 set? Because I don't need a whole new set. I barely use the ones I have. Like, they are... I mean, I'm not going to say virtually untouched because I, I use, you know, I use them occasionally, rarely, but not $300 use them. Like, I use my browns a lot, but uh -uh, $300.
and they don't have open stuff look here i'm not paying 300 dollars for a new set um i'll wait until they open stock Yeah, like, but $300, like, that's more than I pay for my Holbein's. Come on now. Lord, $300, my goodness. Are they crazy? I left her one, but not that much. Now, if you were to be like, oh, the, the polychromos is dropping some new colors or whatever and, you know, $300, then yeah. But, um, yeah, no. And even then, I don't even know if I was would pay $300 for a... That's crazy. That's a lot. Yeah, they must be, Callie, because... Mm -mm -mm. view over here like I need those <laughs> like I feel like I don't I don't use mine enough and I feel like I don't use them enough because I have my Albert Dewars so like when I was using them you know I was using them a little bit but then when I got my Albert Dewars I really stopped using them because I can move my Albert Dewars around and the ink doesn't set so Yeah, I hope they go down because then maybe I'll think about it. But um, that $300 price set, that almost gave me a heart attack. I'm like, what? $300, that's wild. I haven't even, look, I don't, I haven't even um, swatched my ink tints in my swatch chart yet. But I need to figure out what color I'm going to do these ruins. Like, I'm, I don't know. Uh, I know I want some green in there, but I want them also like dark brown-ish. Like that could be the light color for it. Do I need to bring out some more Holbein's maybe? Chocolate, sepia. Um, and this is how I just go through my this is how I pick my colors. I just flip through here and whatever catches, catches. And whatever doesn't, does not. Yeah, like I like my Albert Dewar's, um, yeah, like a mossy brownish look. Exactly. But like a dark brown because I want my background to be orange. But that's exactly what I'm looking for, like a mossy brown. But I want to get the browns first. And then, because what I normally do, like even with the water or whatever this stuff is he's got going on down here like i added a little bit of green after i put the the browns down so i want to make sure i get the browns right first yeah like i don't i definitely like my albert doers more um i don't know what it i think it's just because maybe because when i was like i would use the intense i um I don't want to say they came out patchy, but it was kind of, it's kind of annoying because it doesn't remove. So I, I'll probably use them for like smaller things or something. I might bring out the Pablos because they got some nice, dark, weird looking browns. And some of these greens too, like this range somewhere. Um, my twin is borrowing my Arteza, so that's out of the option. Uh, we got her into adult coloring and the only thing she had was Crayolas and I let her try my Artezas and she are she's using those so um do I really want to dive into the Prismacolors not really but let me just look anyway because I have them so I better use them right um yeah the olive black yeah ooh but the prismacolors have some nice ones too but if i'm gonna use prismacolors then i'm gonna use them last because they smear and if it smears i'm gonna lose my mind so i 
did like this um this olive black would be like a green like right when it's transitioning into the green and this olive brown but for the browns this cocoa looks good i'm definitely gonna need sepia for the shadows but i need something in between that maybe van dyke and also this brown is beige too for like when the light hits it hmm might be on to something here and if I want to add some gray, I mean, I guess I can bring in some slate gray. Ooh, this charcoal gray looks good. Jeez, I might be on to something. I might need to bring out my Pablo's. Yeah, I'm looking at these colors. I'm like, hmm, I haven't swatched my brute from here either. I need, I, I printed this stuff out like right around the time I got sick. So I haven't done my ink tints. So I need to do those. I'll get around to it. I haven't done my neos either, I don't think. Nope, I have not. So, <laughs> gotta do that too. I'll get there. But I made like a little thing where I can just color this part and then color this part and wet this side. And we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, I haven't swatched it yet. I'm gonna bring on my Pablos. And since I don't, I mean, I have my ink tints swatched somewhere in one of my other swatch books, but I don't feel like testing the waters with those right now because you hate swatching. Oh no. Well, see what, what you got to do is, um, I don't know if you have a, a printer or anything like that, but you can do what I did so you're not having to write it down. You can type it all up, print it out. That way, all of this part is already done. And all you have to do is swatch the color. Or you can just, I mean, there's a million of them on Etsy. You can just buy the, the, the chart and then swatch it yourself. You like, you like mine? So I have um mine in my Etsy shop. I did bring the price down to 175 because um i felt like two something was a little bit too much but i did bring the, the price down but i like um i want to be able to see my color so i made mine kind of big where you can see the number clearly and the name clearly because i had it in like a smaller book and i was squinting and couldn't see what I even wrote myself and it was a hot mess and then some of the colors didn't look like what I thought they did once I put them on paper because it was too small and yeah oh you already have some charts you just haven't swatched oh oh <laughs> I mean it didn't trust me I didn't do this all in one day like I did because you know I'm I'm slower than a turtle so I do like you know, I do like one page and then I would take a break um, because also after a while, it would make my hand hurt. So I did one page, took a break, and I did that for like each one. But and then I got sick and was like, okay, I'm not doing this. And I just never went back to it. So I'm going to get back to it. But right now I'm working on my, um, my the, other, the other one. Why can't I ever think of the name of these dang on hold on color combo charts and yes I have to pull it out every time to to look at the name because I always forget what they're called but I'm working on this one right now um I had it by pencil like pencil um brands but then I yeah, break it up. You don't you definitely don't do it in one sitting because you'll drive yourself crazy with all those colors. Um then I this morning I start putting it by color. Cause I got annoyed with coming in here going to each section looking for green. So I'm just putting all the greens together and all the blues and so on and so forth. So I'm also doing that slowly but surely, very slowly. And then I have my combos are like in random places so I have to like write them down well they're already written down but I have to put them you know where they're supposed to be and I'm slow as a turtle on that too but I'm getting there 
oh no ma'am i am organized now because before i was not but i'm trying to be <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm getting there um because i am one of those people that are very scatterbrained and also very forgetful and i also tend to be all over the place with random stuff but i found these in my stash my sticker stash planner stash i don't know somewhere in one of my stashes so i'm gonna label them too by like you know blues greens whatever a hurricane on legs exactly i just want to yeah here it is i was gonna say i didn't see my light fast watch sheet in there that's because i was working on my my combos for this um so they're in here but i just wanted to check to see what kind of um no, I think I like the ones for the Pablos better. I mean, they have some good mossy colors, but it's the browns I'm looking for at the moment. Hmm. That forest is nice though, but that looks just like the other colors that was in the Pablo, so I might as well bring those out. Just, yeah, I'm all over the place still. Trying to be organized, but still all over the place. And then I'm trying to also clean my desk because um, I feel like I'm having less and less space. The more stuff I stack up on here somewhere. Okay. Pablo's, I think they're in this one. I need to put labels on these too. Okay, got them. Here they are. So let's see, what colors did I say? Definitely not any of those. This page somewhere okay and i don't know my pablos like i know my poly so i have to re-look at the swatch sheet all right so browns i'm gonna bring this out probably that charcoal gray too cocoa and where is that um the olive black is gonna be our transition into the greens so i'm gonna bring that out um brownish beige maybe me just pulling out all kinds of stuff because i don't know which one I want. okay um sepia charcoal i don't know about that charcoal but i'm gonna bring it out just in case do I have cocoa? Yes, I think I grabbed that one. Great. Hmm. I feel like I probably should bring some umber, but it might not be needed because I have sepia and I could just go light with that. And olive brown. I'm going to bring that too. Okay. You guys get to see the scatterbrain process of jazz picking colors. Okay. Because I guarantee you some of these colors will be used and some of them will not. Now, my little index card that I have all my little random colors on. I don't know what I did, so I'm just going to grab another one. This one's got something on it already. Okay. Um, where's that charcoal gray? Because that one might may or may not be used. So I'm gonna put that to the side. What happened to cocoa? I didn't grab cocoa. Oh, come on, Jazz. I thought I grabbed it. Okay, let me grab it. Um I grab it because why don't I see it? Hey, your brain is so stupid. You fainted just now. Callie, you over here helping me pick colors and you don't have the Pablos. Uh-oh. 
View, are you okay? Did you faint just now? Someone send SWAT team to check on view. Have I lost my mind? Where is Coco? Let's do brownie spit. Oh, you guys, I'm so stupid. No, I'm not stupid. Why did they make this pencil gray? Hello? I'm over here like looking for Coco and I'm like, is it missing from my case? No, it's not missing. They made the barrel gray. Why? Okay, anyway. Anyways. Sorry, I'm just having a moment. Oh, you were just looking at, oh, okay. They know they wrong for making that pencil. Uh, what do you call it? Miss View, are you drinking enough water? My, were my SWAT sheets driving me crazy? You didn't fall out of the boat, so it wasn't my fault this time. But I hope you're okay. Do we need to send SWAT? Then we can bring like some green in here. You make sure you get some water when you get up off the floor. All right, so that's what I'm going with. This one, I don't, I don't know what that is, but this one. Okay. <laughs> Somebody help her. <laughs> she said my brain cells stop. Yeah, the popos are, are really pretty and they last a long time too they last just as long as the polys but you know my only gripe with these and and it's not it's not the pencil it's, it's really not it's probably just me or my pencil sharpener but i haven't found a sharpener that sharpens them without tearing into them like uh let me just bring them back out really quick like uh let me see if I can find one that I made a ridiculous attempt to sharpen. Uh, this, this. So like I was sharpening it and the wood, the, the, the thing went right along with it. And, it. and it did that for a couple of them. Like this one here I was sharpening. And it's just missing a whole entire like chunk of whatever that's supposed to be. And... There was another one that did some weird stuff too. And that's, I can't find anything that sharpens it right. The Tagal, yep. I've tried the Tagal. I've tried um, my, I was going to say Derwent. It's not Derwent. It's, I've tried the Stedler. This one sharpens all my pencils beautifully except for the Pablos. And, oh, you know what? I haven't tried, where's my m and I haven't tried my m and because I'm too lazy to catch the pencil shavings but let's try it because i'm gonna i know i'm gonna have to sharpen these for these um these ruins 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 me and the letter r okay scared to try it so i guess i mean i know i'm supposed to use the big one because that's the color pencil theoretically part but um i'm just i'm really scared to i guess that worked okay it took a little chunk off the top but this, this one just sharpens the wood yeah okay so yeah my my tagal is not my friend right now but that's okay 
I'll just have to use my MNR, I guess. I'm just lazy. Okay, so who uses, um, who uses, uh, automatic pencil sharpeners for their pencils? This also does something weird to the tip. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's changing the shape a little bit. It's not. I'm going to try this other side. Um, who uses automatic pencil sharpeners? I probably shouldn't be doing this over my book. Oh, it looks like the regular pencil sharpener side works fine. So maybe I'll use that. <laughs> yeah, I only have the two. Um, I mean, I have others, but <sighs> this one I know I can replace the blades on. So I use this one. And this one I got because my Tagal was doing weird stuff. So I just got this one. Yeah, electric. What did I say? Something weird, probably. But yes, I meant electric. <laughs> Yeah, I um I almost wiped my hand across this. I um I have like this graphite pencil that I use just for resharpening the blades of my pencil sharpeners, but um this one doesn't need sharpening, it's fine. But I I don't know if I wanna stick my colored pencils in an automatic Automatic. That was the stupid word I used instead of electric. Electric pencil sharpener. I mean, they do have automatic pencil sharpeners, though, right? Or am I just... I don't know. But see, I feel like the wood on the Pablos is, like, weird. Because it just chews... It gets... I don't know, maybe it's my just, just, it could just be my set. I don't know. And I guess I can just not be lazy and use the, cause I, I have it, I catch the shavings in this old cashew thing I got from Walmart. Three electric and five handhelds. You prefer the handheld ones? Okay. With my Derwent. Now for my my Derwents, um, they actually work really good in the Stedler one. Most of mine do, like I said, but the Pablos, I don't know, like I said, it could just be me not knowing what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to start on this one just because it's very tiny and out of the way. And if I mess up, then I won't feel so bad. So I'm just going to throw down this brownish beige here. Okay, Pablo's, you have to be the only ones to get up on here. You're making all this noise. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Might as well do this part too. I'm going right over some of these little dots too because... Why not? The square pencils. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Those Bruford squares. I don't know. I I think I was using my M&R on those because they wouldn't even fit into my Tagal. And I feel like I had to like shove them in there and, and it was, yeah. So I don't use them that much to be worried about them. So it's okay. Um, this is Coco. So, I'm trying to figure out which way I want the light to be going. 
I mean, I guess it's behind. I'm not about to be trying to figure all that out. I have a headache. Okay, so I'm just throwing it down because I do that sometimes. Sometimes it works and sometimes it does not. And I don't always follow Kirby's shadows and whatnot either, so. Because to be fair, sometimes he doesn't even be making any sense with his shadows. So, it's all good. I don't know if that's a flower or what that is, but I'm just going to go around it. Yeah, so if you get um, this one, Kelly, well, I mean anyone really, but this one has a, a, a slightly bigger hole. So your, your Derwents, um, what did I do with those darn ink? Because I think they're... One of the thicker. I think they might be thicker a little bit than a life ass. Maybe. Uh, let's see if I can find one that needs sharpening. This little guy looks like he could use some help. It fits right in there. And it has even... It has space. Um, it It's a tight fit for the graphite hole. But I don't use that anyway. But it fits right in this one. So. And. It sharpens really good. And that's just for a little, a few turns. I don't like mine like super long and super sharp because um, I don't, I feel like I don't need it that sharp. But if you can see it, it sharpens really good. That's the one I use. And I don't know, um, I've had it for, I don't know, some months now. And it has a little thing, too, that you can close, which I thought was kind of cute. Even though I never close it, um, it I still, it's pretty cool. All right. Oh, you're, it's something stuck in your pencil sharpener, like a pencil lead or something. I would hope that would be the only thing stuck in there. Um, it depends. Well, no, I probably like a medium, Kelly. Um, I don't like really long. Like I've seen some people sharpen theirs, and it's like really long. I can't color like that. Um, nine times out of ten, it's gonna break on me anyway. And so I just keep like kind of a medium. For my Prisma colors, I keep a short point though because those tend to uh, break or something. I've just never had good luck Prisma colors. I don't know. Oh, it's nothing more than nothing more annoying than getting something stuck in your pencil sharpener. That used to happen to me a lot when I was younger. And I would get annoyed because I couldn't get it out. And my mom used to be like, why do you always get something stuck in these sharpeners? What are you doing to them? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> they just would get stuck. So she would get like, um, you guys ever seen like those pack of sharpeners where it'd be like a bunch of sharpeners in it? It'd be like 10 of them in there. That's what she started buying me after a while. I guess she say you uh you out here breaking all these pencil sharpeners. To be fair though, I think it was just like the pencils I was using. You guys remember those um what were they like the blue bear pencils that you'd use in school? So like they would break and those leads were like really thick. So they would get wedged in the sharpener and they would get stuck. And to be fair, I try everything to get them out. Like I would take like the little safety scissors and try to scrape them out of there. And is that a bell? <laughs> I don't have a cat. I have a dog. Um, that is her in the act of stealing my footrest underneath the table that you heard. And she moves my feet off of the pillow and she jumps up there that is what you heard 
no cats. I'm actually allergic to cats, so I can't have a cat. They're really cute, though, but that is Miss Mizu down there, and she has officially taken over the spot where I put my feet, and she's going to take a nap. Another nap. <laughs> yeah, she's a... Uh, she is a character. She's actually part blame to um, me trying to catch you guys from falling yesterday and me almost breaking my neck in the process to do it because she wanted to be part of that show. So, yep. But she's right underneath the desk. I have like a um, makeshift footrest. I have like these two containers down there and then I put like pillows on top and she kind of took over not kind of she took over basically so but she's a sweet so it's okay she can take over sometimes oh, I was so mad at work last night so this guy he had this really cute puppy and i think it was like um they said it was a red nose whatever that is i don't know what that is but she was really cute and i think she was like um i guess pitbull or something i don't know she was really 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 cute so i had went downstairs and i came back up and I seen the guy, but I didn't see the puppy. So I was like, you know, my mind is like, oh, okay, they took the dog to the back. Because, you know, they if the dog's not flying on the plane, you know, they put them in the kennel. If You have to have a kennel and all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, you know, they took the dog to the back or whatever. So next thing I know, I see airport control and metro with the dog. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, what happened? Like, what did this, what did he do, you know? So, airport control asked me, they was like, um, you know, the guy let the dog go, basically. He just let him, or let her, it was a girl, he let her just walk around the airport. So, she was just walking around on her own for two hours, um, until airport control, you know, got her or whatever. And the guy, I guess, didn't want to pay for a bigger kennel because the one he had was too small for her to fly on the plane with. So he just let the dog go because he didn't want to pay for a bigger kennel. And I was so mad because I'm like, you don't deserve, you don't deserve this dog. You, you you brought this dog here. You just let her go. You know, you don't know what anybody was going to do to the dog. And you were too cheap and too stupid to get her a kennel big enough for her to move around in while you fly to wherever it was that you were flying to. Thank you, Jana. You were such a jerk. And you just let her go. So airport control was like you know do you want to take her you know um anybody that you know wants to take her you know we're doing employees first because you know we're all background checked and everything so it the chance of us being cruel to an animal is very low so he was asking the employees and I was like you know I would love to bring her home but I have a small dog and this dog's gonna get really big and I don't know what kind of conflict or anything you know that would go down between her and the dog I have at home so he was basically saying he was like you know we called animal control so they're gonna come pick her up and the dog was so sweet she was such a sweetheart she was so friendly and it just I was getting more and more pissed off because the guy he was just sitting there like oh well and I'm just like how do you not care enough and it was just so, it was so annoying so airport control was like you know do you want to sit with her until animal control comes and I'm like heck yeah I'll sit with her 
So she was just so nice and so friendly. And I was like, man, I felt so sad for her. And then I was like, well, I don't feel too sad because I know someone's going to take someone's going to take that dog because she was so cute and so friendly. And he just was sitting there like he had no care in the world. Oh, it's pronounced Yana. Y Yana? Yana. Oh, okay. So one of those J is pronounced like Yah type things, right? Okay, gotcha. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was, I was like, man, and then, and then it was even more, and it, and it was, and I hate to say it, but it was hilarious because he ended up missing his flight, and I was just like, good, because you let that dog wander on her own in this airport. It's a lot of crazy people, um, you know, in. I was just, I was so mad and so sick to my stomach. I was just like, did this guy really just, and he was just sitting there like, oh, well, you know, I'm like, man, and I was like, poor, poor dog. But I feel like, you know, someone's going to get her because she was so cute and so sweet and she just wanted to play and she, she wasn't even acting like she was just abandoned by this guy. She was just smiling and wagging and just minding her own business and I asked the guy, I was like, well, what has she been doing for two hours? He said, just wandering the airport. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, exactly. And you should have seen the kennel. And I'm like, did he really think they were going to let that dog fly in that kennel? She had no room to move around or lay down or sit down or anything. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like. I don't put my dog in her kennel because she's outgrown it. Like she, she can turn a full circle and she can lay down in it. But to me, it's too small. So I don't put her in it. And I'm just like, he wanted that dog to be in that little kennel the entire flight. Okay. Bye Kim. Yeah. He, he really expected her to, be in that kennel the entire flight and I'm like man so yeah that's exactly what I said but someone someone's gonna take her home because she was she was adorable and she was playful and she wasn't getting into anything you know most dogs they'll be mm -hmm. trying to get into the trash and terrorizing and doing god knows what you know being a dog but nope she was just walking around and playing with people and I'm just like wow someone's gonna get that dog and love her to death because she was just so cute all right i think i've established the color i wanted with these um i might actually grab um something brighter because i like the way that it's looking but i don't want to make it too dark oh yeah definitely my dog which i mean she was she wouldn't be into nothing because i don't think she has the mental capacity to be unless it was paper or plastic then maybe but um she wouldn't be tall enough to get into anything there but she would definitely be all over that airport jumping around and doing god knows what and giving people heart attacks who knows who knows but this dog was so sweet and he was like yeah he said when we got her she was taking a nap he said she had just laid down and we just, we put her on a leash and she's been hanging out with us ever since. He was like, but she likes you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good with dogs, but I can't, I would love to take her home, but I can't because I don't want my dog to be trying to, you know, like my dog, she, she would probably just want to play with her, but I don't, I don't want to take that chance of her, you know doing something crazy to another dog because she doesn't know her so but I was just I was so angry at that guy and I was like to myself I just was like good I'm glad you missed your flight you you deserve to miss that flight most definitely so all right I think we've established some some good color here there's our one little small piece of the ruin <laughs> it kind of looks like the water almost So I'll do this part here. 
But yeah, I have to tell you guys that because I was like, man, that kind of kind of made me mad there a little bit. So let's see, let's get this one over here. Thank you. I have stressed every last one of my brain cells out trying to pick these colors. So I am glad you like them. The Pablos work pretty good in here too. Is view still on the floor? Did you make it off the floor? And you was probably like, I, I didn't have enough of you. seen her make a comment since she was talking about her pencil sharpener <laughs> okay I was gonna say I'm like welfare check on view please You fainted again. Oh no. Callie, you still here? We need her off the floor again. So I'm also trying to figure out what color I want the alien guy. Uh, I was also thinking green since everything else around is green. Um, but I also think I had wanted to add like some pinky purple-ish colors. Kind of like he's, um, I don't want to say holographic because Lord knows I can't reproduce that. But kind of like... Um, I don't know if you guys seen the clouds that I did in um, Mythic World, but kind of like that, but more pinky-ish. Oh, she cooking. Okay, well, if you have an extra spatula, just go ahead and scoop View up off the floor with it, because I think she's still stuck. like beige what are you cooking Kelly well she's she's listening so she'll respond when she responds but I probably should cook something too I haven't eaten since earlier I had some cream of wheat but I have some chicken in there I need to uh, probably go ahead and make but I also kind of want some fish Chicken's already thawed out, but so I don't know, one or the other. Okay, that's one ruin. I think this might be moss. I have the moss color sitting over here off to the side because I can't tell what's what. The, the geese are coming back from the winter. 
What geese? Geese trying to confuse me. <laughs> so has anybody, oh, well, no one's actually colored in their books yet besides View, right? View, have you picked your colors for the astronaut guy? Do you know what colors he's going to be? I think whatever this is, I'm going to make it gray. This and like this little canister thing here. And whatever this is floating in the water. I don't know. And I, I kind of want to add like some, I feel like some pinks and purples should be added to this page for some reason. Who are you making a burger? That sounds kind of good. Oh, there's a lake. Okay. Oh, you made like actual geese. That's cool. I also thought I wanted to add some kind of metallic to this page, but it might not need it. Maybe. I know like there's a bunch of these little, I don't know what these are. They look like little tiny, they're everywhere though. They look like little fuzz balls or something. Um, there's quite a bit of those scattered everywhere. So I might do those in like a, a light green or a greenish yellow. So just so they can stand out because they're all over the buildings too. Probably. Oh, so silver, gray, and white for your astronaut guy. Yeah, I was thinking. I was. I was thinking of um, putting him in a kind of like a light blue, or some kind of a blue. But this page, he's been walking in whatever this stuff is, so I might make him a little dirty. But I feel like he should stand out. So I, I was thinking like a blue. How would this blue look? Hmm, maybe. I do stuff like that too. I'll, I'll stick something next to it and, and see what it would look like. Like, that blue might be too bright. Probably this darker blue. See, I was thinking light blue, but I think dark blue would be good. <laughs> like the MTV icon. <laughs> I haven't watched MTV in like ages. And I do mean ages. Like last time I watched, do they still actually have like music videos or is it like completely taken over by those weird reality shows and stuff? So I think since we're going like the moss. I think the actual rocks are going to be gray. And you know what I just realized? So I thought this was like some kind of tree or some weirdness. But this is actually covering the bottom of these ruins. And it's doing that on this, this side too. It's hard to tell because the little tentacles and stuff is all over the place. And now that I'm actually looking at it, and then it's got those little things all over it too. Hmm. It's gonna be like a month before this page is finished. <laughs> Cause I keep staring at it, like trying to envision the color. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish the ruins and whatnot, and probably these little banister things and the astronaut. And then I'm gonna worry about because there's like plants and mushrooms and leaves and I don't know what the heck this is. And they're even like on top of here and then there's a tree here. Or a tree, uh, you know, trunk. 
but they're like little fuzz balls and whatever this is and this so i don't know if that's like um i don't know but i might put a dash of color in here it might be like some orange and yellow plants but not not too much though because i want it to be kind of um swamp like jungle ish looking I'm also debating on that orange background. I might actually, okay, because I was leaning towards, I'll show you guys. For the background, I was leaning towards this color. Like a light, a green with like a bunch of light in it. I think it was that one. Let me just double check. Yeah, I was leaning towards this. So I might do that because I haven't quite figured out what kind of orange I want yet. But, yeah, I got my double page finish and I'll pick a new page and I'll And in Woodland, I've seen those books. Those books are cute. They're, the, um, which one is the new one? The new one is, um, the Amazon one, right? Or is that, or is the other one new? that green yeah so i was thinking like the the lighter color down at the bottom and then it goes up into green just because it looks like there's some weird like he didn't finish bringing it down so it makes me think there's some kind of like mist or something going on back there Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's where I seen it. Or I seen it on, um, who else has that book? I want to say Lucy, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I was thinking orange, but I think that green might look better. It's the alien that I'm like 100% like stumped on. I don't know what color he's gonna be at. I just knew I wanted these to be like um glowing red sensor lights like you didn't step in my territory and it's about to be on. Our poor astronaut friend just keeps running into all kinds of stuff. But that's what I'm thinking. So um the alien, I don't know. I might do him last. Yeah, I think the Amazon one is the newer one. I don't have either one of them, but they do look nice. I am trying to not buy any coloring books unless it's, well, Kirby's not doing what, another one for a while, so. But unless it's like something I absolutely, most definitely have to have, I'm not, I need to stop with the coloring books. I counted, um, what was that yesterday I counted or the day before I got 80 something so I'm under 100 but that's still a lot of coloring books for me and some of them I don't even think I've colored in so yeah but it seems like my camera is working good which was the goal of this stream I feel like I could probably go with more light maybe But I have to figure out, um, I might switch my light to the other side. Because right now it's on this side. But I might switch it over there. Just so I can lay my book flat. Because notice I stopped doing anything on this side. Because it's not flat. Like the book is like right here. And it's not flat. So I might switch it. But aside from all that, um, my camera... It's not shaking you guys around or anything crazy, so. And it seems to be holding it up pretty fine. So this one might be good. It's looking good on your end. Okay, good. You wasn't good. Yeah, and see, see, it's, you, everybody has like their, 
there are, you know, there are exceptions like, oh, you know, I'm not buying anymore unless it's X, Y, and Z. So, yeah, I'm the same way. Like, um, this one and then um, Mel Pomini's Enchanted Earth. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that one, but I... I mean, I got this one, and this is a lot of detail going on, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I am going to continue to work on this page throughout the day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my actual stream. This is a tester stream. And then hopefully um, I can figure out if I can't pick a page in here that I think I will do for the hashtag, then I will probably go through my other Kirby books and pick one from there. But I really want to do one from here, but we'll see. I also did get my UK version of um, Mythomorphia. <laughs> so I might, um, I might do one in that. We'll see. But I will see you all tomorrow if you are there for tomorrow's stream. If not, then I will see you guys in one of my regular videos that I need to record and put up. I'll probably do that later or tomorrow or something. So I'm going to go and then I need to go find some food too before I do anything else. But anyway, thanks for coming on by, you guys. And helping me pick colors. Thanks, Callie. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully I got my stuff together by tomorrow. Like this light situation. Um, Tomorrow. So I, I don't have a set time. But it's anywhere after 12 um, noon my time. Which is. Pacific Standard Time. So anytime after 12, because I need time to wake up and get food and process my life before I get on stream. So I don't want to get on stream and be half asleep. And I don't wake up till like 9 o'clock. So. But since I didn't go to work today, I don't know. If I wake up earlier and I get everything all together, I'll just... You know jump on but um it should i think there's like a bell or something by this um if you are subscribed there's like a bell button and you can like get notifications when i go live so and then when i do go live i just i'm usually on for like two hours but sometimes it goes longer because you know we sit and talk and all that kinds of stuff oh look okay so this kind of color is what I was talking about for the alien, but I want to add more pinks. You see this purple? But I want to add some more pinks to it. But I don't know. We'll see. But that's the color purple I was talking about. But anyway, yeah. Bye, everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow. Me trying to end the stream from my tablet. And I'm not even streaming from my tablet. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Have a good night. Whoa, the shaking. Okay. Hold it in.